You recently, you guys had uh, one of my former teammates. Obviously, the end of the, the, the Golden State dynasty uh, happened. Uh, you guys picked up Iguodala. And Jack and I know the, the business of basketball is, uh, is a cold game. He came yeah. there, didn't play. Obviously, as young players, thinking like, I'm sure you guys had a certain mindset and thinking like, why is this guy not playing? He had a certain reason why he wasn't. Tell us what that was like, uh, because at, at one point, you know, Dylan Brooks broke the silence and, and, and said what he said and, and completely understand it, you know, from, from a competitive player standpoint. Uh, and you actually, uh, you and Steph Curry low-key went back and forth on social media about something not too crazy, but what was that experience like for your team, knowing his accolades and what he did in the past, and then he came to Memphis but didn't play? Um, man, I'm going I'm to be 100 with you. Um Coming in when when they said he was going to be on our roster, you know, I was very excited. Um, having a vet like that in the locker room with us, a guy who won in games, um, me coming in my first year, I was looking forward to, you know, learning some stuff from him. And then hearing, like, he was saying he wasn't going to play with us or whatever happened. You know, like you said, it's a business. All different type of stuff go around. Um, I was just like, like, Wow, basically, somebody said, like he said, we wasn't good enough. So in my head, it's like, all right, at that moment, you know, it is what it is. We gonna... Bro, we don't want you anyway, bro. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's, Straight up. Like we, they're like, we're going to, you know, play with what we got. Um, I think it came out, Dylan said something, and then it was like, at that moment, it, it was out there now, so. Um, you know, everybody started chiming in, um, Curry, um, there's just a lot of stuff, you know, was going on. Um, like I said before, I still got respect for those guys, still a fan of them, but you know, it is what it is. You riding, you riding with your teammates. You, Hey, let me tell you what's what you did, bro. You did what you were supposed to do. Point blank. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what team I'm on. I don't care who said The president could say it. You say something about me or anybody on my teammates, I'm going to yeah. say something. And you don't have to deal with nothing. Now, when I'm on another team and you say something about them, that's, that's, it's all good. But while I'm yeah. on this team, you're going yeah. to show some respect, bro. Yeah, you did right, bro. I yeah, salute you. That's, that's what I just feel like, man, we're we not taking no disrespect. Um, you know, where I'm from is um, <laughs> one all, you know. Yeah, um, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we ride for hours, so um, yeah, yeah. At that moment, that's what it was. Yes, sir. That's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be. Can you pinpoint possibly one defining moment up to this point in your career, whether it be a good game, a, a dunk on somebody, uh, beating a team? Has there been one moment that's really stood out to you uh, thus far in your rookie season? He got some missed dunks in his career, Matt, that I wish I would have even just got a chance to try. Yeah. Hey, I didn't get a chance to try nothing like that in my career. I, just, I want one of his missed dunks. I just want one uh, of the missed ones. The one he uh, almost sh shit on Kevin Love? That was who? Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was yeah. crazy. I, I, I got Go a couple. Um, Let's hear it. That Kevin Love joint was, was definitely one. Mm -hmm. um, you might have put him. That's if you would have made that, you might have ended his career, bro. Not to cut you off, but word, if you would have made that word. shit, that might have been the end of Kevin Love. Man, that, that that was definitely one. You know, I wish I could get back. Um, I think my teammates can tell y'all. I think it was like a timeout, um, like the next play. And I was in the in the, the huddle, punching my hand, like bro, like it was <laughs> yeah, right that there. Been some shit. <laughs> that shit was uh, still on top plays, and you missed it. That's how bad yeah. that motherfucking duck was. Um, another probably would be, you know, the Kyrie game. Um, you know, that battle between me and Kyrie and being able to win that game. Uh, another would probably be the, the game winner versus Charlotte. Um, yeah. I feel like that was a, a big time right there. Yeah, your first one. Yeah. Hey, that, hey, that Kyrie game was special because I because I seen both of y'all. Kyrie put a move on one of y'all big men with the hesitation. Off the screen. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hey. Then you can't. Y'all you, you, was going at it. That, that, that was good basketball, man. I can't wait to see you. I want to see y'all go at it for years to come, man. That's going to be a long interesting. time. I still, yeah. look, I still look back at that game right there. It's, you know, <laughs> you got so much to learn with that game right there, especially if you're a guard. Um, mm -hmm. That battle right there was uh, definitely one to watch. Mm -hmm. Do you feel the pressure of 
being a franchise player, do you, do you ever think about like how much weight is on your shoulders? Like the city expects you to take them to the promised land. Being a young player, having an amazing rookie season, you're going to win rookie of the year. Do you ever let that creep in your mind or is that part of what your dad was preparing you for back in the day? Um, I feel like my dad actually, you know, prepared me for that moment. Um, he, my mom used to tell me um, I'm beneath no one. My dad used to tell me I'm trained to go, basically. This is, is what I'm here for. It's what I work for. It's what I want. So, um, you know, going in, um, I don't think about it too much. I continue to, you know, try to be me, um, do what I do out there, and eventually, you know, everything is just work out. So, Is there one player, past or present, that you would – actually, let's go past, because you've talked about present. Someone who uh, – a, a former star or a former player that you wish you would have got a chance to play against. Oh, man. Uh, I got two. I got Kobe and Jordan, man. Mm. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, the two, only the right. two legends. Yeah, yeah. I got uh, – I need that talk, battle right there. Talk, talk, talk to us about it, though, because you're a lot smaller than them. So, to, so talk to us what, what goes through your mind when you think about matching up with those two. Um, man, that, like you said, they put on their shoes the same way I do. So mm-hmm. um, I'm going into that matchup, you know, um, liking myself. Um, <laughs> As you should. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I go in there saying, all right, they got Anything me, less. I done lost it's all right, over. Man, I done that lost that all don't come out of our mouth. That don't come out of our mouth no to this way. day. Never. So I'm going in that matchup, you know, ready to take on that challenge. And uh, it's definitely one, you know. Um, I wish I could, I could have. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. This life was all I ever wanted. I'm not leaving. Not yet. I was hoping you'd say that. We gotta hit the streets, make some money. People like us must destroy people like him. Get Showtime free at Showtime.com.